Greetings, Commanders! My name is Eagle, and in today's video, we are featuring the new update that just dropped today into the game. We are super hyped. Two new officers have been added into the game and many new features as well to the user interface. So if you guys like these types of videos where we discuss the new updates that have just dropped into the game, give out our recommendations and listen to your feedback. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video for more videos as well on the new updates. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the potential role of Abigail and Ophelia, which are the two newest officers that have been added in Kiss of War. In addition to that, we're going to be talking a little bit about the user interface that changes that are happening right now and will happen for in the future. And we're going to cover all that in this video. So make sure to stay tuned till the end and give us your thoughts as well on the new officers. So, as of today, there are two new officers, one epic tier and one legendary tier that have been added to the game. Ophelia, a new legendary officer, have been added to the game, in addition to a new epic officer named Abigail as well. There have been some bug fixes, in addition to some user interface enhancements, which seem to uh, happen, not happen on my main account, but do happen on my farm account. I will show a screenshot on the left right now to my farm account and what exactly happened. But hey, I mean, the new user interface is pretty cool. I do like the new user interface uh, in terms of design, in terms of the accessibility that it gives you guys. However, my thoughts on the new user interface is that there has to be more options to turn off the notifications or turn off this feature as a whole due to the fact that, for example, I would like my videos to have as maximum uh, gameplay space as possible. So if that, video, uh, if that feature would have a turn off, then that would be amazing as well. So, but hey! Let's talk about the new officers that have been added to the game. So as you guys can see, if you go over here, you would realize that from VIP package 10 all the way to VIP package 14, there has been this new officer that have been added as well. Her name is Ophelia and you can obtain her throughout these uh, VIP packages all the way from 10 to 14. Now these packages uh, were originally occupied by Chloe's uh, badges. You would get Chloe badges from these packages over here. However, right now, uh, Chloe has been uh, fully in, uh, like exchanged into or integrated into the Elite Recruitment right now. So you would be able to actually get all her packages from the Elite Recruitment rewards, as you can see over here. So her badges will be obtainable from here fully without having to purchase them from the uh, VIP packages over here. And right now, Ophelia has been added to the VIP packages, so you'll be able to actually awaken her and max her out if you buy these packages. But I mean, let's evaluate the packages over here because I think that these packages are a bit expensive. I mean, reaching VIP 14 is expensive by itself. And I mean, hey, I have spent some money on the game and that's, I mean, that's like a thing, okay? <laughs> so right now, let's talk about these, like the, the uh, actual prices of these packages. So to get 10 affiliate badges on VIP level 10, you would have to spend 20 bucks uh, to actually get her. I like the war warrants. However, if you have already maxed out Chloe's uh, uh, packages over here, you wouldn't really need the war warrants. So if there was an option to actually exchange war warrants for uh, different rewards, if you have already bought the packages for Chloe, then that would be great as well. So we're just gonna like tell you guys our thoughts about these packages right now. So for this one, I think this one is a bit overpriced, but however, due to the fact that you'll be getting one uh, like a thousand war warrants, then I understand where the value lies if you haven't uh, bought Chloe uh, packages already from this shop. However, if you have already bought Chloe packages like I did, so that wouldn't be uh, a huge uh, advantage for you. Uh, if I would say, so this is why I think it's not um, super advantages for the people that have already got uh, Chloe package. 
The second one over here jumps from 20 bucks to 50 bucks right away to getting 50 Ophelia badges. I mean, the value of the badges over here has increased extensively. You're getting 50 badges for 50 bucks. I still believe this is a bit overpriced due to the fact that if you look over here, you can get for 50 bucks like way more rewards for that. So I think they have to reevaluate the pricing over here. I mean, this one over here doesn't really require a 20 bucks. I think this one is like highest value of like five to 10 bucks maximum. This one is fine to be 10 between 10 and 20 bucks. And then this one is okay to be 50 bucks because look, let's, let's compare the differences. You're actually getting over here the same rewards as the previous one. However, there's a hundred more affiliate badges for the same price. So I still don't understand how they distributed the rewards over here. But I mean, hey, uh, if you were to buy one of these, if you were to like choose between one of these, then I would definitely go for the <laughs> 100 more badges of Aphelia for free. So yeah, uh, I mean, like for free over the 50 bucks that you're buying. <laughs> so yeah, that's a thing. However, there's an interesting thing about these two packages, the last ones, which are VIP 13 and 14. For this one, for 100 bucks, you're getting 200 Aphelia badges. And for this one, you're getting 290 Aphelia badges uh, for 100 bucks as well. I don't think there's a huge difference between, uh, like, I think the only difference is the 90 badges. So I think the rewarding system has to be somehow, oh, sorry, the package system has to be somehow changed uh, in order to fit better the, uh, the re like, the, the giving rewards that are being given uh, besides from the, uh, the badges that you can actually get from here. So... However, let's actually go to uh, the Elite Store right now because right now you can actually unlock Abigail's badges and full officer badge from uh, the Elite Recruitment over here. She is as well available, her, her only badges are available in the Basic Recruitment as well, so you'll be able to recruit her. Uh, from the elite recruitment and the basic recruitment. We haven't actually got her yet. However, let's see. Oh, we got three of her over here Let's see if we can actually get her on the video. I highly doubt it But hey, I mean, let's try so we actually got a couple of her. So as you guys can see it's actually easy to obtain her badges We already have unlocked seven of her uh, Badges one once we reach ten and actually unlock her we'll be able to spend our let me show you how much universal epic badges we currently have. Um, I forgot where those exist. Oh, there they are. So we have 53 universal epic badges. We can as well spend them on her to level her up. I think she is a pretty solid officer. So as you guys can see, her um, talent trees are focused more on tank, garrison, and defense. Uh, which is, hey, pretty cool. And does that even seem familiar? Yes, that does, <laughs> because Natalia is exactly the same talent trees. But, I mean, this is pretty cool, because of the fact that... Now, Natalia does require a lot of gold to actually obtain and level up. So, Abigail gives free-to-play player, uh, players a chance to actually unlock uh, uh, an epic officer that has somehow the same um, characteristics as for Natalia over here. So this is actually pretty cool. I think Abigail is a great change to the game and record, I mean, like generally her role obviously would be uh, garrisoning um, officers in the game, but I have one skill over here that I think is super interesting which is Extreme Counter-Strike. So every time you get attacked, there's a 10% chance to launch a strong counter-attack for 400 damage multiplier when maxed out. And if you think that this is pretty good, then guess what? You would have, when you awaken her, you would have as well a 400 healing multiplier in the same uh, chance to actually launch it back and heal your troops. So you're actually dealing 400 damage multiplier to the enemies in addition to healing your troops by 400 uh, healing multiplier. So there are many, many questions over here and many things to discuss. Before actually going to your skills, we're going to do um, a full guide uh, when we unlock her and when we awaken her. We're definitely going to do a full guide about exactly what her skills are, what her best talent trees are, and what is her actual role in the game. But right now, 
what we think that this ability is, is actually pretty insane because of the fact that, hey, if you are getting swarmed, then you're being attacked multiple times uh, per, per second. So every time you are being attacked, you might have a 10% chance to actually activate this ability. Now, according to the calculations, which I'm not really sure of, there are two situations over here. The first one is that if every single attack counts, so that every single round, there's like, for example, if five people are um, uh, like swarming you, then you get five different attacks. So that means there are five times chance, five times 10%, the chance to actually activate this ability, which is insane <laughs> because then you can actually counterattack all the other troops by 400 and heal your troops by 400 and this doesn't this isn't bound by anything this isn't bound by time it's like it doesn't happen every five seconds you, this is free to happen this is unlimited you can do this ability unlimited amount of times so i think it is pretty op if uh, every single attack counts however if they mean by that which is the second situation over here if they mean by that then every single round so no matter how many troops are actually swarming you uh when you get attacked that means that counts as one so every round counts as one attack then hey there's this is well like i would say a bit well balanced i'm not really sure if it's actually well balanced or needs a bit of buffing uh but hey i mean she is an epic officer at the end of the day and awakening her is pretty simple so we don't want something like very op happening on an epic officer uh, but I mean, this ability is pretty cool and gives a lot of uh, like chance or change into the game because I think she is a pretty phenomenal defense officer, especially against swarming uh, using this ability over here. So Abigail is a pretty solid officer. I really like that they added or they are taking care about their epic officers as well as their legendary officers. So they're giving new players and uh, free-to-play players a chance to actually do great things at the game and compete with people who actually spend in the game. So this is pretty cool uh, that they added Abigail. Now what if like what pairings do I would pair her with? I would go with Grace definitely for maximizing the counterattack damage uh, and I would do as well Natalia. So Natalia and Abigail, I think these would be a pretty good uh, combination or pairing. And I would pair her as well with Grace. Uh, this is my imagination because she would have a more defensive role rather than an offensive role. Uh, so depending on, um, like she would be more effective as a defense, uh, especially because of her traits, like the 10% defense and tank heal uh, over here, uh, tank health over here, which is pretty cool as well. However, for Ophelia, we have a pretty, <laughs> so this is actually um, like, this is something over here, right? Ophelia is something. So you have a general, siege, and garrison officer, which hasn't happened before. So we haven't seen this actually before, and this is actually new to the game. However, let's look at her skills because she is pretty, uh, pretty interesting. So once you actually hit this, the first skill, your normal attack damage would increase by 300%. Now, hey, I don't know if this is too OP or... I don't know about this guys like we have to try her out we're definitely gonna get her soon we're gonna do a full guide about her but i mean this is interesting like so far i'm liking what i'm seeing so this is a big change so we're talking about 300 more damage dealt for three seconds and that means about two to three attacks will deal 300 damage and usually if you are running a rally you would be dealing a lot of damage per second. So multiplied by three times, and that's a lot of damage. But hey, we have to calculate that. We have to do our calculations because this is tricky, right? This is tricky. So it highly depends on what types of troops you're using and what and where you actually are using her, as a garrison officer or as a siege officer. Of course, she is a general officer, so you would be using her with multiple troop types. But hey, uh, let's go on with her skills because she is pretty interesting. So this one over here, is increases the attack of her troops by 10% when serving as a siege officer and increases the defense by 4% when, uh, when receiving as a garrison officer. When maxed out, that would be 30% and 40% increase of defense, which is kind of pretty cool because 30% increase when you are sieging is huge. 
And especially as well paired with the 20% defense when you are garrisoning, then that's as well pretty cool. Um, moving on over here, this is a pretty cool ability, uh, a passive, it's a passive skill over here, and what it does is that every round normal attacks have a 10% chance to trigger an alert status, which evades a portion of incoming damage for 5%, and that multiplies by a thousand. So hey, let's 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 talk about this a little bit. So over here, I'm still not sure how this skill actually works, but we have to see it out. We have to see it out in combat. So once we get Abigail, we max her out. We're gonna do a full guide about her. Uh, sorry, Ophelia and max her out. We're gonna do a full guide about her, going through her skills and actually going through them in combat because this skill over here, hey, I mean this is some sort of a shield or evasion because that she can evade up to. A like a thousand damage multiplier, which I think is pretty cool. But how often does that actually happen? And is that actually very effective in combat? We have to test that all out once we do her full guide, which is going to be happening soon as well. Her fourth ability increases the troop capacity by 10% and rally capacity by 10%, which I think is pretty cool. So if you have like a rally that is uh, 2 million, then you can increase that by even 200k troops, which I think is pretty solid. So basically you can add one more player to your rally for free. And I think that is that adds a lot of potential to rallies in this game, and I think this is great. Now her last ability, before awakening, you would actually, like after awakening, so what do, what happens is that during the period of which she, like during the three seconds of which she's dealing more or additional normal attack, she would be even reducing the enemy's rage by 50 points each attack, which I think is pretty solid as well. And I do love the fact that they added an eagle right to her arm. I think she looks dope. And hey, I'm super hyped about this update. We have to test these, uh, of course we have to test these and do like complete guides about them, but hey, uh, this is a pretty cool update that I really love. I want you guys, however, to leave me your feedback in the comments below. If you have tried these two new officers in combat, tell me about how you feel about them. Do you think that they are OP or do you think that they are pretty well balanced? Uh, I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, make sure to leave me your feedback in the comments below and we can actually deliver that to the devs as we are in the official content creation team of Kiss of War. So I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these types of videos, make sure to drop a like as well and smash that bell so that you can actually get notified whenever a new video uploads. As I said, this is out of the schedule video, so you'll be expecting a video from me tomorrow and the day after, depending on the schedule, definitely. So see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.